so welcome back uh, so what we are supposed to do in this tutorial is uh, we need to match the movement uh, of the forehead with the this iron man uh, helmet so uh, what we are we are supposed to replace the iron man helmet over there so let's just start over here uh, first thing we need to do is import the track uh, so this is the track i have just imported now so as you can see we have uh, this is the uvi which is has been done already so we have texture of for this as well as and i would like to thank thanks my uh, colleague uh, raj gedam for helping me out in texturing this thing from from the substance painter he really helped me out uh, i would have the link uh, of his uh, instagram page uh, on on the description in the description box so you can just go over there and check check his work is really great artist over there you can check so let's go and just go in scene now let us just move it to perspective iron man and you can see we started to see the character over here so first thing we need to set is that our uh, scene is not in meters so just uh, uh, that's for the real world uh, calculation is so we'll go over there and just change it to meter so now we have everything in meter so as you see we have coins over here collectors let us just change the size to we have just uh, reduced the size slightly and uh, what we can do is uh, we can just go the camera the camera is uh, really small now so now we have a good camera as you can see so let us just change the uh, far and near clip of the camera so that we can see the footage as well now the footage is there we can see that as well now we'll just go in our iron man head and we'll try to where is it uh, we'll try to scale it and uh, try to match it over here so the track has been already be done in 3d equalizer i'm just trying to jump ahead of for this one okay come on let's go uh, so we'll try to match it according to a scene which is this let's go slightly over here we need much more down yes first we'll go towards the jawline yes the jawline is good let's scale it up a bit let's go slightly down and just try to have it slightly slightly a bit or tilt as well as so now we'll go in uh, extra mode so that we can check the eyes and uh, uh, the position of the ear as well so this is it I think so let's just, let's, uh, first we need to do is we need to go on the first frame yes we'll match it in on the first frame this is the this is the actual position of the face so we'll try to keep it over here slightly like this and a bit of scale which will definitely help us so let us just see how does it look uh, so we have the iron man which is uh, perfectly placed over here because of the hair i think so we can go slightly down uh, we'll try to paint the, those hair out yeah the, those are coming with the hairs are coming out we'll try to paint those later on in nuke so that we have perfectly placed the object now you see the position of the eyes also the same even the uh, ears are same so this is a really good uh, placement for us now so what we will do is uh, we will select uh, the iron man and then we will select the object group and we will press p so that we have the animation according to the footage so now you see we have a proper animation let us just play this out okay yeah it's really bad now yeah, definitely the hairs are just coming out of here they are popping up uh, well that's not an issue for me uh, we'll just try to paint it uh, in nuke uh, they are supposed to be go uh, like uh, uh, in uh, afterwards they are supposed to be hidden because uh, they, they are we are placing helmets so the hair would uh, definitely come down as So now you see the the track is almost good and it's uh, kind of working for us. Uh, so let us just move ahead uh, with the texturing, and let me just tell you guys that uh, once again that my uh, one of my artists has helped me in uh, texturing for this. So uh, definitely I would have the project file for you guys so that you can learn. Let us just go and take an AI standard shader surface, which is this one, and uh, let us just delete. What is it? Delete. Come on, I don't need you. I'll keep it over here. We'll go in Maya. Where is it? 
Maya source file and we'll just try to import the texture. In Maya. So now you see we have the texture layer everything over here. So we'll just try to go take it over here and uh, uh, this is metal. So what we will do is we'll take the red channel of the metal and just add it in metalness so that we have the metal over there. And what is this? This is the height which can be used for uh, which will be used for normal camera, which is means it's uh, gonna be used for depth. So I'll just uh, take a 2D bump, 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 bump. Okay, over here. So let us just uh, first will. Okay. Now we have the value and this goes over here. We'll just make it slightly less. Give the bump value and uh, definitely we need a base color, which is this. Oh, come on. We'll take the base color and just select it over here and place it over here. And the last and la but not the least, which, which is the specular roughness. So we'll just uh, take the red channel and we'll add it in specular roughness. So now we have everything ready. I'll just name it Iron Man Iron Helmet, which would be perfect naming for this for now. And uh, what we'll do is just put a weight everything on slightly diffuse roughness and we'll work on this uh, later on as per as requirement let us just go here and come on come on buddy and assign material come on so we have assigned the material to our object let us just press 6 so that you can just see this is slightly uh, looking weird because there is no light over here so what we we'll need to do is uh, we we'll need to add our SGR at home okay so we'll take uh, Arnold SDRI sky dome light and okay the uh, we'll go over here select camera and just we'll increase the, this every time this needs to be done and we'll just scale it slightly and the placement of the uh, sorry we'll try to keep it more most realistic to the center of a so that it just captures 360 we'll go over here file and where do we have it is in scan and it's uh, the cleanup SGRI which I have cleaned it up so this is it now come on come on buddy so now you see we have the SGRI uh, uh, and this is pre placed in proper position uh, luckily uh, or else would have changed it uh, so no issues uh, we'll go here and uh, we'll try not to render this out in cam uh, in our camera so I'll just go change it to zero and I don't want it to be visible uh, in my first uh, over here so just uh, this and let's try to hide the object group which is the point let's hide those so they are now hidden so that they doesn't bother me anymore and uh, let us just save it uh, let me just save it to Now this has been saved. We have lighting and we can go in Arnold. Before that, let us just set a project which would be EXR. Yeah, definitely EXR and uh, name dot x dot this. And uh, I just need to give the frame range and which is the render camera. This is it. And we'll just uh, for now we'll just go to 720 uh, while rendering rendering everything house maintain width and height and expect ratio uh, we won't render uh, this out uh, now we'll just do it later on and cpu is okay these values are okay for now and let us just try to render this out we will we'll render it over here first let's go over here and uh, press f5 so Arnold will start rendering this out come on Hmm. So now you see that we have our uh, helmet rendering out which is re looking really cool and it's too much reflective I think so uh, we'll just uh, take care of this later on and or else we can take this uh, take care of this in uh, 
new uh, so there is nothing to bother about it uh, we can do in the, those thing in compositing as well so let us just check uh, over here and uh, slightly over here let us just check come on man do go for effort yes this would the frame or else uh, or else what i can do is just go in arnold and like this that's what we can do for a while so now you see we have too much of reflection okay okay i'm not selecting the plane i'm just trying to select my object but not working ah yeah it's it's okay let's uh, just go to iron man shader let us add the diffuse roughness and let us just kill slightly the weight of the reflectivity Still, that's not trying to get ahead. It's it because it's uh, already assigned over here. Oh, well, that's not the uh, issue right now for me. So, come on, man, come on. We'll add to uh, diffuse, and uh, those are assigned over there, so they uh, they are not supposed to work to her properly. Uh, they are they are in working already in the. Uh, over there so right now you can see the lighting work is done and the texturing work is almost done so what we'll do is uh, you know we can ju we just gonna control this uh, reflection and everything like that in the later on in comp so let us just try to get check the renders layer so i'll just try to not render this out let us just render this frame first let's render So you see the Iron Man is really looking good, the helmet is really looking good. It's too much reflective though, uh, but that's not the concern right now. And uh, let us just go and kill this, okay, uh, we'll go in Arnold, we're just gonna set up the layer, layers. So what do what do we need is, not over here, I'll just go directly in your viz and uh, I need ID normal, yes, RGB is at depth, uh, as, well as, as well as I need albedo. Uh, do we have code getting render out just uh, we'll just go on a check it diffuse diffuse yeah indirect everything okay come on man they gone over there okay so we'll go indirect indirect sheen is not there specular and uh, this thing is there and we need motion vector as well And do we have uh, crypto materials? Yes, definitely. Those are the really important assets. And let's just add over there. So we have too much of uh, renders to help us out. And we'll just go over here and tell the new, uh, sorry, tell the Maya. Come on, man. Okay, sorry, it's over here only. We'll just go over here and tell them we we'll merge AOVs so that uh, we don't have to worry about the AOVs later on. And uh, let us just go and of our image plane so that we can see the directly the output now let us just uh, do one thing see it how does it look so is it carrying alpha yes proper alpha nothing to worry about so this is luminance rgb channel so is it render no not yet Yes, I think so. There, this is rendered now. We just go in ID. So this, those are the ID parts that we you can use. This is normal, and this is the albedo, which is really good, and uh, crypto assets, which can be really helpful later on. So this is diffuse, albedo indirect, and this is the direct lighting. So we'll take control of this as well. As this is a specular, so we we'll just uh, can control those thing, and uh, you can see over here. Things are looking good. Uh, let us just have the uh, embed occlusion as well. We'll go here, here and just create an embed occlusion pass. Uh, so this is AO. Oh uh, man, come on. So this is a one new layer. And what we'll do is create collection and we're just gonna add our Iron Man.
so let's just add so we have added this and uh, what we'll do is take create a shader which would be inbound occlusion from Arnold shader inbound occlusion yeah that's done that's pretty much cool so let us just have a look once so we just need to select this so in order to have a look uh, in the render let us just go in Arnold and have a look so this is really good the embed occlusion is almost done so we are set to go uh, for our rendering and uh, for the batch rendering the, the shader is assigned so what we are doing is we are creating the scene as well as we are uh, uh, rendering embed occlusion so uh, in order to render both of them you just need to have the selector uh, this thing okay so th those are uh, those will get automatically get render so now let us just go in uh, the settings and change it to 1080 that would be the comp of our output so everything is set now and uh, we can just go and run the things out so see you in next video where we gonna just uh, help it uh, do the comp uh, in Manuk till then please guys do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon and please do watch more videos